California is at a crossroads. For the first time in history, California has lost a seat in the Senate. It actually would have been more than one if not for the state's lobbying and other efforts. And California will lose electoral college votes in the next presidential election, also for the first time ever. This is all as a result of people voting with their feet and saying that they do not agree with the progressive and failed policies of California that have plagued the state for the last 20 years, culminating in the recent leadership, if you can call it that, of Gavin Newsom. Meanwhile, the Gav man is oblivious to all of it. He's been posting on social media saying that the mass exodus out of California is exaggerated. Well, Gavin, just look at the numbers. The high homelessness, ridiculous taxes, overregulation, and other burdensome policies here in the state are causing companies, individuals, celebrities, and all kinds of people to leave the state in mass numbers and choose other places where they would rather do their business. States like Florida and Texas are thriving and gaining seats in the government while California is losing them. So on today's video, we are gonna talk about these issues, we're gonna talk about what's happened in the state, and I'm gonna offer some solutions on how California might be able to turn it around. That's a big if, folks. So if you live in California and you're considering leaving like me, or maybe you've already left, this is definitely a video that you wanna check out. If you don't live here, but you like watching a train wreck, then this is also a video that you wanna watch. Let's go. Hey, what's up my friends? Thanks for tuning in today. I am Dima and welcome to another video. And today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, maybe my favorite topic of all, and that is California. So you guys, I live in the state. I've lived here for a very long time other than going to college in Arizona and spending a summer out in Texas. This has been my home. And so I have to tell you that it's a very sad thing and it's very discouraging for me to be making these videos talking about the downfall of what should be the nation's best state, the number one state. But unfortunately, that is not where we find ourselves. And today I'm gonna to talk about how we got to where we are and if you're like me and you're considering leaving the state and you're thinking, should I go? Should I stay? What should I do? I'm gonna give you some things to think about today that might help you make that decision a little bit easier. If you've already bailed on California and you live somewhere else, then you're still gonna to wanna to stick around and watch this video because like a good train wreck, everyone likes to watch the downfall of something, right guys? But first, you guys, I'm gonna give you a shameless plug. So today is my birthday, and the best birthday present I can ask of you is to help me grow this YouTube channel. Hit the like button down below, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. I really appreciate it, and it really does help the channel grow. So on that note, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first question is, how did we get here? What happened? I mean, California was the best state, the golden state. This is where people wanted to go. This is where dreams were made. We had Hollywood, we had industry, we had business, we got the beaches, we got the sunshine, we got the girls, we got the weather. Everything is here in California. And that's why people flocked here. In fact, guys, let me tell you a story. In the late 1970s, my family left what was the former Soviet Union destination Hollywood, LA. My dad wanted to come here ever since he was a kid. This was the place where everyone wanted to go. We lived in Chicago for a couple of years on our way here to Los Angeles. And then we got here in the early 1980s. At the time, California was booming. Businesses were being started, industries. This is where everyone wanted to be, like I said. Now what happened since then, I believe, is that the more people that come here, the more people that live in these big cities, you start to get this sort of progressivism, that's a word, that starts to take hold. They've also infiltrated places like our education system, and so as the kids grow up with all of these ideologies, all of these things that really aren't true in the real world, and then those kids get into public office, 
What happens is you get ridiculous policies, you get increased taxes, you get increased regulations because California's answer, or I should say some politicians answer to everything that's going on in the state is always more taxes, higher regulations. Let's tax these big bad corporations. Let's tax the rich. I mean, you've heard all these things from one side of the political spectrum for a very long time. And as those things start to progress and as the snowball continues, what has happened is we've gotten to where we are. And where we are right now in California is not in a good place. We have the nation's highest state income taxes. We have the most regulations. We have all kinds of issues like homelessness, poverty, a terrible public education system. And what all of that has led to you guys is a mass exodus over the last few years. Now, I will tell you guys, before the pandemic, I really didn't give a ton of thought to leaving California. We've talked about it, we visited other places, but at the end of the day, California always offered more on the plus side or the positive side than the negative side. So the positives always outweighed the drawbacks of staying. We always knew the taxes were high and we were paying a big sunshine tax, but that was okay because of everything else. When the pandemic hit, like many other people, we started taking a look at what's going on in California. Again, highest taxes, highest regulations on businesses. We are the most, I should say, the least business friendly state in the nation or all the way down there, somewhere in the 49 to 50 range. And so we saw all these companies leaving the state for many reasons. They want a better life for their employees. They don't want to pay those high income taxes. They don't want those overburden some ridiculous regulations and so they started going to places like Texas and Florida which are thriving and booming. I talked to my friends and business associates in those places that remained open, kids were in school, all of the stuff that made sense was happening there and you know after making fun of us a little bit they tell me what an awesome time they're having in those states because everything is booming, growing, it's a good culture, it's a good energy. And I will tell you speaking of energy guys, if you believe in this kind of stuff, I have noticed that in California and in LA the energy uh, has gone down from where it was. All of these lockdowns, the uh, ban on indoor and outdoor dining, all of these people staying inside has really put, I believe, a lot of people into a depression and the vibe in LA is really not what it once was a long time ago. And so that's where we are. And now you guys, with Gavin Newsom's last two years of reign, I mean governorship, um, it has just gotten worse because all of these policies that Gavin Newsom has proposed and has implemented plus all of the people that he's appointed that have come up with ridiculous bills that kill jobs, that kill small businesses, and everything else that they're doing in California is just driving people away. In fact, a recent study said that 53% of people are contemplating leaving the state. That is crazy. And yet, like I mentioned in the introduction, Gavin is oblivious to all of it. If you looked at his social media, you would think that everyone is coming to California as opposed to leaving the state. Now, he is right. There are a ton of companies still here. A lot of companies started here and were founded here and just you know can't leave or don't wanna leave yet. But I will tell you, I talked to a lot of business owners and a lot of entrepreneurs and a ton of them, if not all, are either thinking about leaving or if they can leave, are already making plans to do it. Because let's face it, in today's economy, we realized last year that you don't have to be in California to have a successful business. You can live somewhere else and do all your stuff on Zoom. You could travel, you could do whatever you want. You don't have to make the sacrifices that you have to make to live here in California. And so you guys, like I said, we are really at a crossroads here in the state. Right now is a very interesting time here in California. And if you're like me, you're probably thinking, should I stay or should I go? And so here's what's happening in the state. This year, as you might know, we are having a recall election. There were enough signatures gathered to recall Gavin Newsom. And later this year, there's going to be an election to determine whether we replace Gavin. Now, sadly, when I look at the polls, they say that people approve or a majority of people approve of what Gavin's doing. I don't know what those people are on, but it might be some sort of legal drug here in California because that is just crazy. I don't know how anyone could approve of what Gavin's doing. By the way, it's not even a political thing. Democrats, Republicans, everyone dislikes what Gavin has done. So I don't believe those polls for a minute. So anyhow, big, huge changes to come. If Gavin gets recalled and we get someone into that spot, 
that has a common sense approach and common sense solutions to the issues facing California, we may be able to turn this thing around. But I will say more importantly, next year in 2022, there are gonna be some major elections in Los Angeles and also in California that might sway the state one way or the other. So I personally believe that the next year is going to be pivotal in California. I think California is either going to continue in a downward spiral the way it's been going, more people will leave, more businesses will leave, and the state will really have a catastrophic downfall. Or if enough people can rise together and change the things that are happening here, then California can make an abrupt U-turn and come back out of this thing. And that leads me to the ultimate question of this video. Should you stay or should you go? But if you've been here for this long, first and foremost, I wanna say thank you for sticking around. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. It's for my birthday, come on, what do you have to lose? So, let's answer that question. This answer is gonna be different for everyone. And what you have to weigh for yourself is, what do you think is gonna happen in California? Is there a chance that it's gonna turn around? Is there a chance that we're gonna turn this thing and go in a different direction and make California the place that it once was, or maybe even better? Or are we gonna continue down this downward spiral and down this path of destruction for businesses and for people? So my answer, guys, and this is gonna surprise you, is I don't know. I really don't know what's gonna happen. If I had to take a guess, this state is so overwhelmingly left right now and the policies and the people in government are just so one-sided that I think California is going to have a very hard time turning this thing around in the next year or two. I could be surprised, but I believe it's gonna take longer. It's gonna really take the pendulum to swing all the way to the other side for everyone to realize that these progressive policies are failures that no one is better off in the state when businesses leave, when people leave, when the tax base shrinks, and when we start losing seats in the government and we start losing electoral college votes, and of course the tax revenue will shrink. So I think it's gonna take a lot more. I don't know if we're there yet, and so personally, the decision whether to stay or whether to leave is really a tough one. So I wanna know, guys, from you, what do you think? Are you weighing this decision if you live in California? Let me know in the comments below or have you already decided to leave? If you've already left, what made you make that decision? And would you ever consider coming back to California if they turned it around? Guys, I wanna thank you for tuning in, especially on my birthday. This is a really hot topic in terms of what's going on in the state of California as really the biggest state uh, in the country for now. Let me know what you think in those comments below and I will see you on the next video. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate you and I'll see you soon.